taking the dishes out of your room it's so embarrassing you really live like this i'm not dirty or nothing don't say nothing about me i'm just saying i'm a little embarrassing y'all this is very random but what's today wednesday it's wednesday and i should have got my trap on i'm gonna go to target today so oh i don't know if i want to do like curbside pickup or go inside i don't know depending on how i feel i don't feel like going inside i might just do curbside pickup but i'm getting ready for not getting ready i'm about to go to my class and i gotta fill up my water bottle i had to clean it first because you don't want to be drinking out a dirty water bottle like how some people would be doing but <laughs> but um y'all i'm getting excited because of my hair like i'm i'm really excited about you know like, I'm going to set up the consultation today to get it, um, like, to see. See, like, this is melting. Anyways, I'm setting up the consultation today for my hair. I'm going to just add this clip in it because... But, yeah, should I bring some fruit? Like, I really don't. My problem is, like, once I get to school, like, I get hungry. And so I think I should bring, like, we got some apple slices. I think we gonna bring some, like, apple slices to eat when I go to the library. So this is the only container that's small enough. <sighs> okay, but, yeah, like, I be spending my money last minute on freaking the vending machine. I just got a Snickers the other day. It was literally like $2. Like, bro, I need to start bringing snacks. I mean, I do, but sometimes, like, one day I brought a Pop-Tart and it was really loud. Like, you don't want to be eating nothing that's really loud in the library. So, I'm going to bring some apples today because these expire. <sighs> when does it expire? Oh, it ripped. I think it says the March 3rd. So, yeah, today's the 1st but okay we have my apple okay it's gonna be my snack today i got my water i've been doing good with the water i've been drinking a lot Ooh. i've been drinking a lot of water i've been taking my water bottles to school for like two three weeks now and every day I make sure to like finish the bottle because sometimes I even like drink it all and I refill it. I've been doing good with drinking my water. Head to class. I don't think I'm gonna go, I don't think I'm gonna shop in Target. I might try that online thing where you like shop online and then they bring it to your car. I never did it before. I never did it before like myself, but I'm gonna try some because I really do not feel like I just don't feel like going and shopping today, but yeah. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all, I'm in the library and I ate all my apples and I'm still hungry. Like, I'm literally still hungry, y'all. So I'm eating gum, but. And them apples did not work at all. It did not make me full. I'm literally still hungry. But, yeah. I'm just chilling here until I gotta go to my next class. What's up, y'all? It's Saturday, and I'm kind of 
two on time. Oh, I forgot my nose. Oh my god, I forgot everything, bro. I forgot literally everything. I'm going to my consultation right now for my hair. And I woke up at 9, but I didn't start getting ready till like 9.30. And the appointment is at 10.15 and I live 14 minutes away. So I didn't give myself much time to get ready for the appointment. But I'm on the way there now and it says that I'm going to make it there at 10.13. So that's literally two minutes before my appointment. I forgot, like, I didn't really get dressed as how I wanted to like I kind of had to rush I didn't do my edges I left my nose cuff like y'all know it's a part of my that's a part of my wardrobe so it, everything was just rushed but I'm gonna probably come back home before I go back out because I don't want to be feeling uncomfortable because I feel like I didn't get fully ready like this is not how I want to look but yeah, I'm on the way to my consultation. I'm so excited. I hope that whatever, like I never had my hair dyed before. So I really don't know like the process is like, what are they gonna do in the consult? Like I'm assuming, I'm assuming that they're going to, she's gonna see what color I want, see how we're gonna get it to that color and if it's gonna come out right, basically. It's gonna take whatever. But yeah, like I'm excited. Hopefully after this, I can set my appointment to actually get get it dyed and retwisted sometime this week. But yeah, like I'm really excited. Got my rings and everything. I'm just bare. I'm so bare. I was looking at myself in the mirror like something isn't right. Like I'm missing something. But I had to rush because I don't like being late. I don't like being late, and I realized I don't like being on time either. I like being at least five or ten minutes early. Like, if I, when I'm on time, I feel like I'm late. Like, right now, I feel like I'm running late, and I, it says I'm going to be there at 10, 13, but I feel like I'm running late. Like, I something about time, I just, I just, I don't know. I'm going to be on time, that means I'm going to be late. <laughs> like, I don't, that's just how my brain works, but yeah on the way there right now and i'm gonna get back to y'all um when i get there so i made it in right at 10 15. this is what they do the color i guess Y'all, I wish I would have recorded. <laughs> so she sat me down, and okay, so she sat me down, and uh, the girl at the desk sat me down, and you know, she took me to the back where they do the color consultation or whatever. And basically, the girl came. From the girl that sat me down came and gave me like the paper that I showed y'all whatever and then she was like oh the girl that's doing your color conversation will be with you her name is Ariana I had her before but it was before I had locks so when she came she was like so Ariana came and she was like oh hey how have you been I was like I've been good she was like I'll be with you right in a second or whatever so she left and she came back and she was like so unfortunately I don't do color on locks and I was like I knew it like something told me like I don't think she works like I thought she just does color so it doesn't matter if it's color on locks but I guess not but anyways um she was just like, yeah, I don't do color on locks. And I was like, oh no. And then she was like, but we do have someone here that does it for you. She was like, oh, you'll probably get, and I was like, does Kristen do color on locks? She was like, yeah. So all in all, she asked me if I had any questions. And I was like, the only thing is how often do I have to get it retouched and stuff like that. She was like, um, you really don't have to, but with the color that I want, she was like it's kind of gonna fade a little bit after a while so you might want to get it like touched up or whatever but other than that like it's all good 
like, oh, when did you want to, like, get it done? And I was like, sometime this week. She told me the availability, availability, and I chose my day. And then she was like, it's an all-day process. So basically expect to be there all day, and which I am because, you know, you're. It's I'm getting color in my hair. And also I'm getting a retwist, so, you know. And she was like, look, she was like, the pricing is probably going to be from 150 to 250 which is like that's okay honestly like i know it's gonna come out i know it's gonna come out so fire because when you go to the hair salon and get your hair done it's like a one like it's nothing like doing your hair yourself like doing your hair yourself it's like okay whatever when you go to the hair salon it's like oh yeah it's like perfect like twists are tight color is juicy like everything is a one <sighs> so yeah so my appointment is thursday and um i'm excited i fill out the paper i didn't i didn't have nothing on there but she still didn't like i don't know like she was just like well you're good to go and we'll see you on thursday and i was like okay thanks but she still didn't do like the consultation so i'm like i'm kind of like oh i guess everything's good i don't know like i should have asked like so we still don't need to do the consultation but Hey, I guess that was a consultation. They do your hair, see what what are they gonna do? Cause you can't just pop up and you know, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. So I guess that was a consultation. They just gotta see what they getting themselves into. It was zero dollars. So I guess that's how it goes. That was my consultation. Oh my God, oh my God, the ladies. Oh my God, the ladies just looked at me. Oh my God, oh my God. Why was I looking over there? Oh my God. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I just feel very uncomfortable, so I'm about to go home and get my stuff together, and then I have to go to my dad's house so he can see about this car. But yeah, let's just let's just go back home and get ourselves together. I literally spilled. Okay, I have a pop tart like in my cup holder in my car, right? I pick up the bag, but the open part was at the bottom, so when I picked it up, it all fell out. And there's literally pop tart particles. That looks so disgusting, bro. Particles in my cup holder, so now I gotta vacuum it out. I gotta go to the car wash anyway, but I just need to get this out because I'm not about to have this sitting in my car. <gasps> Twist so bad. Oh, what? Oh my god, why is it literally white? This is why I just wear it down. Why my hair look? It look great. Okay, guys, so I'm here now waiting. Um, my dad is working on somebody else's car but honestly i'm getting hungry and i'm just ready to get my nails done and go home like i'm so over it it's like when i don't have coffee or caffeine in me my mood is always like down and i feel tired and lazy when i do drink coffee i'm talking i'm more happy i don't know like i don't know what be going on with me bro i'm just not feeling it like <sighs> but yeah <laughs> yeah <Yo, laughs> he getting excited because i just said i'm vlogging so what are you trying to show if you want to, um, you got your car, yeah. I'm gonna squeeze this in there somewhere. Just put it in the camera. I could put it on the thumbnail. My nails are not done. Get at him six, seven, eight, six, nine, eight, ten, fifty three. You already know that's the man with the plan. <laughs> Yeah, 
wouldn't change them. They're okay. good. Okay, y'all. So I just got some food and I'm about to go home and change once again. Actually, not once again because I really didn't even change. But I'm about to go home and change so that I can go to the nail salon and then I would probably go to the car wash after. Cause I'm about ready to get my nails done. Honestly, I can't wait another second looking at these hands without my nails being done. <sighs> okay. <sighs> now I gotta figure out what I wanna wear. I just wanna put on a hoodie, but all of my hoodies. Okay, let me change. Okay, now I'm more comfortable. I'm about to go eat my Burger King. I don't usually eat Burger King, but I do like it. A Whopper. Two sauces. <laughs> that look like one of the mukbang, um, Thumbnails, juicy burger. All right, I'm about to eat, bye. Okay, so I just got my nails done. Let me show y'all what it looks like. Sorry, I just wanna end the sun. Don't mind that I got some acrylic like stuff. I gotta get it off, but real cute, bright and yellow. She did me good. She got me right. Y'all, this this little car wash line a little bit too long, child. I don't know. Everybody wanna go on the, to the car wash on a Saturday. Like, why does everybody need to be going? to the car wash on a Saturday. Like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Y'all, I'm clearly I'm in a better mood because I don't got my nails done. Like, she did not come to play. Like, like what you say? Hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Somebody calling my phone, hold on. Period. But yeah, everybody decided to go to the car wash today. I don't know if I'm, a, I'm probably gonna vacuum my car. Probably gonna vacuum my car at home because there's too many people at the vacuums. Like, I don't even think there's any spots open. Like, this, this car wash is really packed for real. But it's a nice day, so I understand why for sure. But yeah, probably going back in my car home. I'm gonna just go through the little drive through, whatever. Period. Um, we're in the car wash, and the car in front of me literally, the car in front of me literally didn't know how to put their car in neutral. Like, they was over here really struggling. But, look at my nails. Like, stop playing with me. This is lucky be like the creepiest part. But my car, my car finna look good though. My car finna look good though because it definitely needed a wash. Um, DGC parking deck with the dust and the rocks. If you make my car look ill. And y'all, I ordered, I ordered some um, new hubcaps for my car. 
so, well I didn't order it but I gotta order it so when I go order it I'm gonna order a new um, arm resting this is what it looks like now that's what it looks like now and it be getting like a bunch of lint oh my god this is giving me like final destination Ooh, it got a blue light I was trying to get my nails in it yeah I gotta order the hubcaps for my car but basically um my car hold on I'm stuck It's way too packed. Actually, found one. I found an empty vacuum. So, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum my car. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, I just left the car wash. And I'm about to get some gas because my tank basically on E, like, dang near. All right. They gas is 298, baby. It's a good day. It's a good day because. But yeah. check my list to make sure I did everything before I take my butt home because I'm tired. I finally made it home. Are your phone? Who's sick? Who eating soup? Oh, it ain't me. Mommy sick or something? Mm -hmm, I think so. I don't know how she got sick. What you doing? Are you vlogging? Yeah. What's up? Is there any ice? I don't got no shorts on. Yeah. Then don't get it. Don't get in the camera. Where'd you go? I went to a lot of places, but I just came from the car wash. Oh, where'd you first go? The nail salon. You want to see my nails? Ooh, money. Those look nice. Hey y'all, so let me turn this TV down a little bit. Basically, um, I came home and I just woke up from my nap. I really didn't take a nap. I went to sleep for like 30 minutes and woke back up. But I need to clean my room and buy some stuff online for my room and my car. I'm trying to sit this up. Here we go. Okay, so this is why I don't really like this camera because it makes my skin look really bad and my skin don't look like, like that bad in person. Let me flip the camera. I'm looking at my skin and bro, what is these pimples like? Anyways. What's going on with my face? Like, anyways, um, yeah, I need to get some stuff for my car online and for my room. So basically, I ordered um 
some uh, new curtains for my room. They're all black and they're they block out the sun because I don't like waking up. First of all, the sun the sun wakes me up when I'm sleeping. Like it be so bright in my room and I cannot sleep when it's bright and I can't sleep when there's noise. So half of the time, once the sun comes up, I'm kind of up already. Like I'm sleep, but I'm sleep. Like I'm I'm sleep, but I sleep lightly anyway. So I just don't like the sun. Like I don't like the sun. And then I lost my little eye. Uh, right, so I got another one, but I probably won't need it since I done got the curtains already. I didn't even think about that. Like why would I get the the eye mask if I already got the curtains? But um. Yeah, gotta get the hubcaps for my car and everything. So first, I'm gonna clean my room, and I need to go do my laundry because, baby, the dirty clothes basket is overflowing. Look, clothes everywhere. <sighs> this is my dirty clothes basket, and it's still clothes in the basket, and it's some overflow. Like, girl, get yourself together. But yeah, that's just what I'm about to do. Just clean my living space to make myself feel better because i don't like staying in no junky room i'd be having to clean my room like every day honestly but i don't complain and then start looking for what i want online sit down and make a list of stuff that where did this come from y'all bro the spray literally is on my book I don't have no napkin oh my gosh and it's oil in it too
Okay, so I'm about to sit and make a list of stuff that I'm gonna like that I want. So let me give y'all the rundown of what I'm thinking in my head and what I'm trying to do because I don't think I'm making it clear to y'all what I want to do. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is basically for my room, I want it to look more like an 18 year old lives in this room <laughs> because right now it's just very crazy. So let me show y'all what I mean. My bed is blue and it's cute, but it's not giving an 18 year old. That's one. Two, the curtains, no baby, they gotta go. I already ordered the curtains. This, this whole setup right here, I love the pictures, but it's gonna have to go because honestly, when I'm making my videos, it's always like in the video and you can just see random pictures of like me and people I love and my family. So it's like, girl, like, I feel like pictures on the wall in your room is just not very, I don't know, that's kind of like kitty. Like, it's just kind of kitty. Like, that's just something, you know, children do. So, this is probably going to come down. And that, this New York City picture is going to come down. I might sell it or whatever. I've had that for years. And it was my mom's, but she gave it to me. That got to go. This, literally got it for Christmas. I don't know what exactly to do with it that's gonna go my dresser okay so i might get rid of the xbox because i literally don't use it and so once i get rid of the xbox i could put something on the dresser to make it look you know more like better because it's just taking up space and i just got like random junk sitting on top of it so that has to go those two pictures they're gonna stay um yeah the rack let me actually sit the camera up this rack on the back of my door has to go because it's too much stuff on it half of the stuff on it i don't even like wear most i mostly just put my robe up up there i got that from disneyland i only wear it when i go to disneyland it's just a bunch of robes and hats and belts that i literally do not wear i don't wear them this whole bookshelf leaving it's it's going away it's coming down i don't read any of those books it's just a bunch of pictures up there it looks this whole it just looks very cluttered like i need it to look more like i got my life together like i need it to look very organized it's too much colors going on it just looks very clustered and junky and it's not junky it's organized it's just too many colors that's gonna go away my closet my closet is good i'm thinking about painting the doors but honestly i just want to paint my whole room honestly like if i'm gonna paint the doors because anyways let me get back on track my closet there's nothing really bothering me about my closet i mean there's nothing i can do about it i want it to be bigger but nothing i can do about that the only thing is I would probably just get a shoe rack or I don't know. I don't really, not a shoe rack thing I can do in my closet. Like I have a too many clothes and there's not much you can do with a small closet and have too many clothes. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Okay. That's pretty much what I want to control. Okay. So my desk. Okay. Yeah. So I bought black curtains and I got a I bought black silk sheets so basically I'm trying to give like black gray white except for my bed my bed is blue so that's just gonna have to say cuz I'm not about to get another bed baby. it looks very kitty <laughs> like I really look like I grew up in this room and I'm not trying to look like I grew up in this room I wanted to look my age so that's what I'm gonna try to change so I still need to make a list so I'm gonna still sit down and figure out what I'm gonna get a replacement like when I take all this stuff down what am I gonna get to replace it to make it look how I want it to look but um also this wall so this y'all y'all see how bad that wall like let me tell y'all how this happened this happens because when I'm sitting at this desk this chair the corner of this chair constantly like hits it 
and scrapes it. If his head scrapes it, when I turn, turn around, when I back it up, that's why there's a whole line. Like it's the same level. It's from here to here because look, I can put the chair up. When I put the chair up, like that's how I knew. And if you look at the corner, <laughs> if you look at the corner of it, it's like is it right here. This is all that's on the wall. Like it's scraped off. It's like it's not silver anymore. It's like gray and then it gets black because this all this part of the chair always gets scraped. So anyways, so that really irritates me because like when I'm doing videos, it's it looks like a dirty wall. Like I can't live like this anymore. Like I don't like look I don't like when stuff looks messy, I don't like it at all. So, I don't like when stuff looks messy. So, my nails look so good. This wall, I wanna paint it, but I cannot paint it without painting all the other walls. And that's a whole big project because painting at least takes two days. And that means I would have to sleep in the living room or with my mother. I just don't feel like doing that right now. So, <sighs> one thing I can do is probably look up how to get it off the wall. Because this whole wall is honestly, like looking at it, it has hair products on here. Cause like when I spray my hair, like this whole corner, like I'm constantly at this vanity doing my hair, spraying hair products. So it's like oil dots on the wall it's pink paint it's markings it's it's just very dirty because i'm just constantly doing stuff and never cleaning up so and i've been here for what five years so of course things are going to need to touch up and it's about time for the touch up i also need stuff for my car so y'all, I'm just really, I'm low-key stressed out because I just feel like, I just feel like, I just hope it's not a waste of money getting all this stuff, investing in something. It's like I'm investing in this, but I'm not going to be here for, for long, but girl, I'm not moving out in the next year, so as long as it's not in the next year yet it's not a waste of money honestly to me and it's not like I can't take it with me once I move out so yeah I down some stuff and get my life together I'm about to set up my calendar and see whatever I gotta do this month and then we just gonna go from there child checklist of everything I need to get and I set up my calendar so I just gotta go on Amazon and get the stuff for my car but that will be all for this <laughs> that will be all for this video I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll catch y'all on the next one bye